Pan Ocean was incorporated in 1973 and was the first indigenous company in joint venture with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC. Um, this is the first um, indigenous joint venture company and the vision is to demonstrate that uh, what the white people can do the Nigerian can as well do and even excel. So that has what has kept um, the company going uh, to be able to put uh, their footprint that uh, we can do it. And what we are going to see is a demonstration of that uh, resilience and resolve that we can do it. It commenced crude oil production in August 1976 at the Ogarifi field of OML 98. In 2007, Pan Ocean acquired the oil prospecting license OPL 275 on the production sharing contract PSC and successfully converted it to OML 147 in production sharing contract with its senior partner NNPC in 2014. So we completed the minimal exploratory program and we went ahead to carry out a feed development study after drilling six wells. All the way discovered that the carbon and they were completed and uh, upon that we were able to apply for a mining license and uh, the OPL 275 then was now requesting to OML 147. In its continuous contributions towards improving the fortune of the Nigerian oil and gas industry and by extension the Nigerian economy, the NNPC Pan Ocean Joint Venture conceptualized and developed the Amupe Escravos Pipeline Project AEPP. If you may know, uh, uh, it's a pipeline that goes from Amukwe to Escrabos, and that is why it's called Amukwe Escrabos Pipeline Project. It's a 20 inch, 67 kilometer pipeline. At the Ovade Ogarifi gas processing plant phases 1 and 2, this project will not only improve crude oil output in the country but will also contribute immensely to industrial growth by enhancing power generation through increased gas supply from the gas plant. We've seen the growth of the company in various uh, aspects and one of such growth areas is the development of the gas projects which is the expansion from the current uh, production levels to a level where we now have uh, to uh, produce uh, LPG and propane uh, aspects. The three projects most importantly reflect the breakthroughs that are possible with foresight, proper planning, good thinking and tenacity. In 2009, the current location of the gas plant was a very thick bush when Panocean went in. That is, other than the flow station that was existing, or every other area, even the access road to the new place was uh, a virgin land. Panocean came in and we did a lot of work, and that's where we are today, courtesy of the fact that we went from just uh, a facility that uh, pushes power, making it uh, uh, gas available for power, to now being able to say we, we can boast of providing liquefied petroleum gas as well as propane for the industries that are available in Nigeria. At the consensual stage, we're looking at that. Do we even need to embank on this energetic project? Can we look at the possibility of leveraging on facilities around us? At a time when we did the uh, technical pre-qualification, we pre-qualified three uh, companies. However, at the commercial stage, the contractor that emerged as the preferred bidder happened to be a Nigerian company. And here we are, we start looking at it, this gigantic project, can you trust a Nigerian company to be able to deliver this project? But to God be the glory, they've risen out to the challenge and they've done marvelously well. 
Looking back, it is not easy. Along the line, we put on our creativity art in terms of funding. Because as we were trying to have operational excellence on the ongoing operations, the projects are there also for expansion. So we were more of like taking care of the two at the same time. So when the price of oil became flat, we quickly adjusted our cost structure to be able to meet that challenge, which we did. Another of the challenges we had were interfaces. And then uh, most of the, some of the items were actually long weight items. And we had to do early identification of the long weight items to ensure that uh, we had the items, the equipment, ready for the site as at the completion timeline. Considering that Nigeria has suffered huge export loss through pipeline vandalism and crude theft that brought the country's production to about 1.73 million barrels per day in March 2019. With the coming on stream of these projects, Nigeria, Africa's biggest oil producing country, will see a boost in its earnings due to the more reliable export route that has the capacity to deliver 160,000 barrels per day without the usual crude theft. The Amukwe Escravos pipeline, which comes as a rescue, comprises a 20-inch pipeline covering 67 kilometers route with capacity to handle 160,000 barrels of crude oil per day and with remote manifolds to accommodate third parties' crude oil evacuation to the Escravos terminal. As part of its contribution to the growth of Nigerian content, the NNPC Pan Ocean Joint Venture awarded the contract for the construction of the AEPP to Fenug Nigeria Limited, an indigenous company, in 2011. The Ovade Ogarife Gas Processing LPG Propane Plant is a game changer. Located at Ogarife in Delta State, it is one of the three major projects of NNPC Pan Ocean Joint Venture aimed at achieving the federal government's vision of eliminating gas flaring and improving the volume of gas available for power generation and domestic consumption. The plant is designed to expand gas processing capacity to 200 million standard cubic feet per day. The plant is eco-friendly as it will help to reduce gas flaring and greenhouse gas emission by more than 2 million tons of carbon dioxide annually. The Owa Aledinma flow station was built following the conversion of Oil Prospecting License OPL275 to Oil Mining License OML147 in production sharing contract with its senior partner NNPC in 2014. The flow station is expected to process 11,000 barrels of crude oil and 90 million standard cubic feet of gas daily when fully operational. This mega project was made possible by the support of the host communities. The old Delta State is our host community, but more specifically uh, over the Ogara people who have been very, very supportive and been very involved in. What we've worked with them is to make sure that there is no contractor that work on our site. Before you ever mobilize, you must go to the community to discuss with them and there are certain arrangements to make sure that they have involvement and participation in what they do. One of the members of the host community is the one that is, is doing the 4.5 kilometer road and the tanker, I mean, and tanker park, which is part of this project. This project is creating a new road, uh, fully tarred in that uh, community, to make sure that we don't create the scenario you find in uh, Apapa. Because at full completion, the, you'll be loading about 80, I mean 30 to 40 trailer per day. If you will load 30 to 40 trailer per day at full capacity, it means you will have um, more than a hundred waiting to load because not the day they come, they load. So what we've done learning from what we faced, haven't gone around everywhere. We went to other competitors to look at how they have been operating. We've gone outside the country to see how they work. 
we decided that it is important to, to move the trailers away from the expressway as a Benin Sapele expressway into the middle of the road. So we constructed a fresh new road uh, with a tanker park, eight, about 8,000 8, 8, uh, uh, meter square tanker park to accommodate this. So the com 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 community is involved in that. That itself is going to provide a source of uh, income, welfare for petty people who service those particular areas. I want to, as a matter of fact, thank Promotion Oil Company for their immense contribution toward the economy of my communities with this pipeline project. When it started, there has especially the contractor that handle the community, Fenno Nigeria Limited, actually cooperate with Amukwe community. Within the duration of the community, both Pamoshe and the Fenno Nigeria Limited that did this project will have a cordial relationship and want the, such a relationship to exist. Uh, when this uh, gas, uh, gas project is completed, it will create employment for debtors because one of the the, the sing song or the glamour of the youth is that uh, in terms in area of employment they were lagging and so when this thing is put in place by special grace of God who, who is going to create employment for the teaming youth of Delta State. Um, as the project progresses our relationship with the community got straightened and um, and we were able to have a conducive environment. And at the end of the day, it has paid off. On impact to the community, we have also involved the situation where this uh, growth situation has created opportunities for the community in terms of uh, employment. And also uh, because of our peaceful living, they are able, able to develop indigenous capacity so that they are able to handle this activities going into the future. Please carry the communities along. Let us not look at the law, 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 law. Let's think of how we can be brought up. Because anybody you sleep with on the same bed is the person you can throw your leg on. And the community you are operating are your first primary brothers. And wherever you transport your product to where it is. Today, they have flow stations. I think they have about five to six oil well health they have drained across the area. It's a success. When I say success, between a trickle of eyes, it will add to the production quantum of the states. And I say, as it's adding, we have more money. Panocean is making their money. The state is making their money. The local government is getting. The community is getting. Panocean, like I said, has been in our body for upward of four to five years. And uh, Panocean, as I got to know it, they've grown from a mere uh, production, petroleum production company to now a gas and also petroleum production uh, company. I, I would say uh, Panocean have tried their best for Vade, but Vade people expect more because uh, it is true uh, that uh, Panocean has grown very well uh, and we have been a good host to them. Projects are the towards end, it becomes like a baby. Of the project managers and the people that are there. Um, it's more like you want your child to go to university but also you want him to stay at home. Uh, so there, that's that kind of feeling that you have in it. But this is very peculiar because this is my first assignment in any Nigerian oil company, NOC, and I feel very excited to be a party to this success. It's something that I cannot wait to see it producing and delivering value because it sort, sort of gave me opportunity to look back and say, as an engineer, not only that I did it with multinational, I was able to work with the NOC to deliver value peculiarly for the company. Throughout the project, we did um, over 2.6 million man hours um, without uh, incident. And it's a feat um, we are really very happy about. Um, we had a lot of challenges along the way, given the terrain. Um, and we were able to complete that without uh, any uh, major incident or lost time incident. This is more or less a Nigerian contractor. So what that means is that Nigeria can do it. For the company going into the future, 
I wish the company the very best, more expansion uh, opportunities, more uh, to maintain the leadership uh, role in, um, that I've maintained over the years in terms of the development of in, in the oil and gas uh, industry. What I am today, most of it is from the ingenuity of resilience, of survival, of believing in yourself.